Today I'm going to show you a few things on the banjo, and my name is Paddy Achtelik. All right, uh, I'd like to tell you a bit about the history and the origins of the banjo. Um, the banjo is most commonly associated with bluegrass and country music. However, um, its roots do, um, lie in Africa, and the banjo is an instrument of the lute family, and um, one of the instruments that is um, definitely a predecessor of the banjo is the banjar, which is um, a West African instrument which had from one to three strings, traditionally made out of gut, and um, was an open, had an open gourd body with animal skins um, stretched across it. In um, the 1830s, a guy called uh, Joe Walker Sweeney was the first person to introduce this fifth string to the banjo. This fifth string is higher pitched and starts about, I'd say, a fifth down the neck. Um, Joe Walker Sweeney was the first um, banjo hero, if you'd like to call it that, and he toured all over the US and um, also came to Great Britain. Um, in the American Civil War, the banjo became more popular as soldiers brought it and travelled with it and showed each other songs and different ways of playing. It was uh, Earl Scruggs who um, revived the banjo culture in the US in the 1940s um, with introducing his way of playing using a plastic thumb pick and two metal finger picks, which is the way um, most banjo players play now. And that was pretty much the start of bluegrass music. So um, the banjo is very much still alive and has its, its, its roots lie in Africa and it's come a long way to look like this.